as ever we've got workmen. Every time it's a Saturday morning, still got workmen. Hi hey guys, it's a lovely November morning, very sunny, and I'm in the ancient village of Abinger in the Surrey Hills. Now Abinger is a very interesting place. Now it lays claim that it has the oldest continuous settlement in the country. There's a Mesolithic site just over by Abinger Common, dating back to 7,000 years. I think Armsbury in Wiltshire, where Stonehenge is, also laid claim to that as well, that had this continuous um, settlement in the area. But I don't really know how you can really measure that. But there's been Romano-British uh, findings uh, right up to present day. So it is an ancient landscape. It is an ancient landscape. We're also going to look for the Motton Bailey Castle, the remains of, which every time I come here I always forget to have a look at. So we're going to go and have a look, look at that and uh, see if we can find it. So let's go. <laughs> The Motton Bailey Castle, I think, is down here, just next to the manor, the manor house. So um, we'll try and find it. And here it is, Motton Bailey Castle, built around 1100. Amazing. It was built by William Fitz Ansolf. I think it's how he pronounces his name. So I'm going to quick look. I don't quite know if we're supposed to be up here or not, but I'm just having a quick look. Wow. Well, Bailey Castle's all the rage in the 12th century. But no sign saying keep off, so have a look. So it was a moated uh, Motton Bailey Castle with the water going round. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a shame we couldn't see them as they originally were. There's a flat top there, now on the top. Very cool, very cool. Two things has been here for like 900 years. This particular Mott and Bailey Castle actually survived longer than most, so it says, until um, 1153. It was remodeled in about 1140, but um, remodeled, but uh, yeah, around sort of the 1150s, 1180s, they started to uh, dwindle as um, stone was starting to be used in construction. Wow, so here it is, fantastic. It might just look like a mould, but the history on this site is incredible. Let's pop back into the village. This is St James's Church, built in the 12th century. I'm going to wonder if it's here, we can pop inside, let's go and have a look. Just spoke to a nice lady who was telling me it was bombed during the Second World War, so a lot of the old stained glass uh, was lost, but they've actually got some new glass now put in, and it actually has brightened up the church a lot more, which is lovely. A lovely old church. I thought we'd talk some church. The lady says actually the original um, founderings are from the 10th century, so it's been here like a thousand years, which is incredible. Got a really nice pamphlet, I just saying to the lady as well. No one carries cash, you know, like a little donation for the church for these lovely um, booklets. But she gave it to me for free, which is very nice of her. I say no one carries cash anymore, which is um, just way of, the, way of the modern world, I'm afraid. really nice what 
friendly people. That was so nice. I wonder what these doors are. Okay. Moving on. As ever, we've got workmen. Every time it's a Saturday morning, still got workmen. I think they're felling trees or cutting up some wood. Once again, I've said this before um, about ancient settlements. We're up on a high ridge, the Surrey Hills. There's an abundance of water. So, ancient man, sort of seven, eight thousand years ago, stopped being hunter gatherers, started settling down. And here was where it originally started to happen. You can never be 100% certain, of course. You know, it's, that's why it's called prehistory, prehistoric. You know, no one wrote anything down back then. Yeah, it's a lovely old church. Lovely area. From what I understand, the Mesolithic site is over the back there on, on the common behind the manor house. There's apparently a private museum about the findings uh, when it was excavated. Um, so that would have been quite interesting to see. Oh, let's have a quick uh, rummage over there. Oh, I see, yes. That's a public footpath. So yeah, having just quite a few little hamlets all sort of uh, mixed together. And here are the local stocks. Where you would have been put in if you've been up to no good and get pelted with fruit. Think what a society we are today, such a nanny society, and what we used to do back in the day. <laughs> Great stuff. I think they're from the 1700s. So there you have it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed a little trip around Abinger and its ancient sites. Some of these little villages dotted around Surrey. I'll we'll have to explore a lot more. And. Uh, if you've liked it, of course, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Always appreciated, and we'll see you next time.